I'm a biomedical scientist working in blood transfusion. My job is to do blood grouping, antibody identification of antenatal, pre-op and emergency patients. For this role, I need to have a BMS biomedical science qualification, undertake an IBMS registration portfolio training, become HCPC registered. An important aspect of my role is being able to be a lone worker working under pressure in a major hemorrhage situation, cross-matching blood for patient transfusion. My name is Scott Heesman and I'm an assistant, laboratory assistant in the haematology department. I help biomedical scientists with the day-to-day -day running of the laboratory. I help load blood samples onto the analyzers. These can either be full blood counts or coagulation samples. When any of the analyzers have a problem, I help to troubleshoot and then fix them if possible. When a patient's results require a biomedical scientist to look at a blood film under the microscope, I will make and prepare the blood films for them. I'm currently in my final year of a biomedical science degree. When I graduate, my aim is to become a biomedical scientist within East Sussex Health Trust. I am joining my training so far and look forward to my future career as a biomedical scientist. I'm a senior biomedical scientist in the haematology laboratory. I also oversee the immunology service and am the departmental trainer link. My role is to ensure the smooth day-to-day -day running of the laboratory and to line manage the ATO and BMS staff. I have a BSc and MSc and have been HCPC registered for 20 years. I love the fact that the quality results we provide to our service users ultimately help to diagnose, treat and monitor our patients. I'm a biomedical scientist. I look at blood smears down the microscope searching for diseases such as leukemias. My name is Catherine and I'm a biomedical scientist in microbiology. We diagnose infections using loads of different methods, like culturing bacteria on agar plates, testing for bacterial and viral DNA, and looking for antibodies in the blood. We can then test to see what antibiotics a patient might need. 